Hey VC, what's happening guys? It's been a while. Super busy. You know, what, what do you say? The same old bullshit lines, you know? Uh, work, you know, life uh, has got a hold of me, that kind of thing. But also, um, move. I've also moved. I, I moved into a new place. Um, I've had to do a lot of work in the place. I've had to paint the place. The place is not finished yet. What you see is finished. Um, but I've got other rooms I need to paint and still unpack and still a lot of boxes around and things. But I wanted to get out here and, you know, say what's up. And, uh, I man, I've got a couple stacks of some pretty cool shit. I'm not going to show them all in one. I'm going to break them up into two. I don't want to get into the epic uh, 40 plus minute uh, videos, at least not right now. So I hope you're all doing good. Thank you to my new subscribers. I really appreciate it. Um, I've been checking out a lot of new VC members, a lot of cool threads going around right now. Uh, there's a site thread going around and I can actually contribute a uh, small bit of that just in what I have here in my recent acquisitions. Recent acquisitions go back to um, I'll say November, early November. That's uh, when I got a lot of this. Before that was a South Street dig. So anyway, let's uh, get to showing some LPs because I have some neat ones here. This uh, just showed up in the mail not too long ago. This is uh, D2. Everybody knows D2. Showed up and uh, thank you, Dark. Sounds really good. Um, I think it's pretty obvious to say that I'm not an impulse buyer. It uh, <laughs> it took me a little while to uh, really get a hold of this um, mentally. You know, I I was taking my time to see if I would feel it. it made it may have taken a bit longer, but I'm feeling it, man. I love it. You know what it was is I was listening to it digitally a lot um, in the mornings on my way to work. Uh, I have D you know D2 and D3 on my phone so I pipe that in as it were to my stereo and my vehicle and uh, they were just attaching themselves to me so I picked it up thank you Derek I wanted to show you something really cool right here off the bat and this is actually my most recent as of only a few hours ago I was going out to do my usual routine shopping and all the super boring shit that an adult has to do but I rerouted my, uh, I went a different route, uh, rather, to get there. I went out of the way to make sure I drive by the record store. So I stopped in. There wasn't much. I found this. Sunfighter. This is, um, this is Paul Kantner and Grace Slick. I looked at that gatefold and I said, man, that's, that's some psychedelic shit. I, I just picked up the one I'm going to show you next, so... Um, same uh, group of people, some other appearances as well. But I figured I'd get this. It was only three dollars. Um, I have the vinyl on the turntable. I'm sorry. It's uh, on Grunt. Grunt, the Grunt label. Um, long story short, I get it home. I'm I'm preparing to clean it. I noticed that there is um, there's an original sleeve that came with it. I was interested. What what is on here? What was written on here? Um, you know, go like this to, you know, make I just get the dust out. You know, I get the dust out of here. And what falls out? Check this out, man. All right? Let's get a little contrast. See it? That is like this album released in 1971. This is a pink joint. If you can't tell what the hell it is, it's a joint. It's a very flat joint it may be I don't know what the hell's in it I'm gonna assume there's just something wacky in there but this was inside of my uh, psych you know Paul Kantner album should I light it up Ugh, nah I think I poisoned myself but you know I'll stick it back in there and that'll be cool like a little reminder of that day kinda neat funny. I'll put that away in a moment. This is one that I just recently picked up as well. This is the last few days. Same store. Good price. 
This is blows against the Empire. This this is psych. This is excuse me, my nose itches. This is psych all the way. Total 100% psych. Paul Kantner, Jerry Garcia shows up here. A lot of the members of um, Airplane. It's really really cool. This is a reissue, obvious or a, I don't know if it's a reissue, but it's been pressed again by RCA here. The vinyl was in really good shape, um, which is why I picked it up. It's just on RCA, but super clean, um, and so I picked it up. I picked it up for this reason. This this reason here is why I picked it up. I have an, an original copy of Blows Against the Empire, and if you can tell, the, the font is on the top here, and it's on the bottom here. This is not a gatefold, and this is a gatefold. Look at that, isn't that not cool? Paul Kantner's hair is made out of weed and it's on some kind of crazy planet. Really cool. So there's no vinyl in here and that's the reason I picked up Blows Against the Empire, the uh, reissue. Picked this one up the same day. Surrealistic Pillow. I've never had this. Um, I found it and found it again, but the prices were always sick, you know, 10, 12, 14 bucks and, and up. Uh, this was right in my range. My my local record store finally came to the conclusion and the realization that they charge way too much fucking money for their stuff. So whoever they had, well, what I'm told is they had some, they hired somebody to come in and price out these things, and and they were literally double. So I go in. Uh, actually, I was told by a friend that went in there before me that. Um, they lower their prices and st substantially, and not just on um, not just on vinyl or used vinyl, but new vinyl and CDs. Pretty pretty much everything in the store they drop their prices on. And a side note, it's kind of pissing me off because it wasn't even a couple months ago that I showed you guys Thin Lizzy's Black Rose reissue on 180 um, on the back to black uh, electric mud. I picked up and I picked them. It, it was half, basically half. So a $28 LP, a $17 LP, and I go in one $7.99, one's, you know, 19 or something. And that pissed me off. But anyway, I digress. Here's a cool one. This is a bit obscure. Obscure to me because I didn't know who the hell Tiger was. Very cool. This is on uh, War Warner Communications. So I guess Warner Brothers label. I'm not. A t I'm not a shitload into the labels. Yeah, it's just a standard palm tree Warner Brothers label. Uh, this, it kind of runs the gamut. It, uh, real mellow, pop rock, um, psych, uh, heavy rock, hard rock. Uh, there's a lot going on on this album, and I don't like it all. Probably because it's so varying. Tiger, what's my time here? Last time I tried to upload something for 15 minutes, I, I wasn't able to. So let me let me move on. Maybe I'm being scolded because I didn't put a video up for a couple months. Going back, backwards in the catalog for, for me, for my collection. ZZ Top. T Tejas. Tejas, I think. Don't hate me if I didn't say that right. Old ZZ Top. You know, there are some... There are some signature beats... Uh, that Frank Beard does that I heard later I didn't absorb this album too much until recently I'm sorry I'm sorry I didn't mean to hit you uh, he's got a signature beat at least I, I didn't know it was a signature beat until I heard this album but every album that came out after that up until the 80s synth kind of thing there's a lot of that signature beat on this album. You'll know what I mean. I don't particularly love this album, but the condition was just sick, man. So, this is Hold Your Fire, right? Yeah, this is Hold Your Fire. It shows you that I, I don't really like it too much. It's a bit too synthy for me. But the condition is just insane. And again, this was um this is basically unplayed. So I picked it up to put in the collection. I've got a couple other ones I don't like that I want to pick up. I'm not saying I hate them. It's just not. Um, it's just not all for me. The synth thing I got tired of after a while. Here's a nice comp of musicians. That is 
This is Wes Bruce and Lang, of course. Um, Leslie West, Jack Bruce, and Corky Lang, half a mountain, and uh, the better half of cream. This is cool. Not a lot to be said about it. Boring Columbia label. That was in there as well. I've had that digitally for a while, and um, I was glad to find it. Here's a classic. Will anyone here know what this is? Hmm? Well, how about if I show you this way? There you go. King Crimson, Court of the Crimson King. And look, look at the condition on this. This is nice too. Nice corners and and uh, very clean vinyl. Atlanta, another boring Atlantic label. Nice. This is one of my favorite Alice Coopers later on. Welcome to my nightmare. I don't know why it should be a dollar bin thing, but I haven't been able to find it until recently. Pick this up. I'm sure it's another boring label. These were a couple from one of my long distance pals, VC pals, kind enough to give me a call. We knew what I was looking for and picked me up Frank Zappa, sent it over, burnt weenie sandwich. This is a gatefold. I won't bother taking that out for it. Um, this was also sealed. This is Act 1. Act 1, Joe's Garage Act 1, sealed. So I popped the sucker open for the first time and listened to it. Nice and crispy, sounding good. This is um this is the last one I needed for this um, artist. The one I dislike the most. This is John Atwistle. Rigor Mortis sets in. This there are some cool parts in here, but there's a lot of uh, standard rock, and he goes back to 50s covers and shit like that. Not real big on it, but I had to pick it up. I love his covers. I love his artwork. So this goes with um. Uh, smash your head against the wall his first one 1971 and um, whistle rhymes which is the second one this is the third this was sealed pick this up sealed my favorite Kansas unfortunately the last one I get in the in the collection I have all the other ones that pretty much suck well there's not a lot on them that are great I'll put it that way left over sure this was another sealed one. I was lucky enough to... This is a cutout as well. Popped the seal on that when I got to listen to that for the first time. And uh, this will be my final for this um, part one. This is CSNY. And Dallas Taylor and also Greg Reeves. Anybody know who they are? Did they do any work with anyone else, these two guys? Deja Vu, really good condition. I've got a couple of the staple albums by CSNY, uh, CSN, uh, the one with the ship on the cover. I'm not, I'm obviously I'm not huge on it. So um, that's part one. That's more the classic rock, um, psych, uh, progressive, avant-garde. Uh, next section will be new releases. Um, there's a lot. Excuse me for saying um so many times. I, I should have. I should have worked this out beforehand. The next section or part two will be uh, new buys, new new bands, newer bands, and brand new buys, and um, I think some other stuff mixed in there as well. Uh, oh, a metal! I have a I have a neat little metal uh, selection to show you, uh, multiple selections rather. So, uh, is that it? I think we're going to light up my. Uh, Vintage 1971 pink joint or not. I think if I do, you won't see me on the next video because I probably will poison myself. So let me just put that away. I'll see you guys soon. I'm going to post, I'm going to make this video right now. I'm just going to flip it and uh, I'm going to post probably both of these at the same time. So you'll see part one now and part two coming up. Thank you again to my new subscribers. And as I always say, if you don't know, Learn.